what's going on? My name is Nico, and you know what I'm doing. I'm back on my hunt, my quest, my mission to find the best beer in Michigan, fuck it, maybe the world. First off, everybody, boys, here's what I want to say. Uh, took last week off. Anyways, listen, Merry Christmas to everybody. New Year's, we'll have other videos, but Merry Christmas. Christmas just happened, so I'm just saying, I hope all you guys had a Merry Christmas. Uh, for my old calendar Christians, uh, today was St. Speedonas Day, so happy St. Speedonas Day. Um, either way, I hope you guys all enjoyed and have fun. Today, we are coming back with our fourth edition, last beer in our Right Brain Brewery Variety Pack. Forgot what it was called. It, there's going to be a picture of it right here. I just forgot what it was called. I think it was um, Hard Case. Right Brain Hard Case. Anyways, we're trying the last one the mystery beer is. Dead Kettle. Ooh, look at that. The design is nice. I like the design. All right, this beer is going to come in at 5.8 alcohol by volume. <clears throat> It's an Indian Pale Ale. Um, it's supposed to be very good. Um, drink as fresh as possible. We get it. You know how this works. I crack it. Smell it for the fanciness. Right? Then I pour it in my glass. We're using the Czech Republic Bohemian glass this time. How's everybody been doing? Hope you guys had a good holiday. New Year's is going to be lit. Look at that. All right? Smell this boy. <clears throat> Get like a fruity. I don't know what that is. That's like a fruity caramel. Well, not caramel, but more of a fruity like mango or pineapple. Not pineapple. Orange is mango. You get a little bit of that like aroma, that um, pine cone aroma that you get out of all IPAs. It's not that strong to be honest with you. Though. It's more of that like, I don't know what that is. Is that mango? Huh. Anyway, let's try it out. Ooh. It's really good when you first get it in. Going down. Pretty good. Just got a notify notification back from somebody. Um let's see the head test on this bad boy. Eh, head test is not really there. You get now when it's a cup though, you get a stronger floral aroma from it. That aftertaste is super punched IPA. It's super freaking IPA. That aftertaste is like bitter to the core. This is going to be a, a food beer, not a beer you're going to drink it, chill on. It's good flavor. It's not high up there, but it's a really good flavor. But again, it's going to be something you want to drink while you're eating a steak or something like that. It's, it's going to go with a meat, a stew. This will go perfect with stew. burnt my top of my lip over now my the top of my mouth the roof of my mouth <clears throat> burnt it I had four days off from work so I've been chilling and when I got four days off I'm gonna drink if I have days off I'm gonna have alcohol and drink a little bit I think it was Friday drink a little bit and I went and took something that was really hot and I was like ooh I made snausages I made little snausages I made a homemade sauce and everything and I was like ah and I bit it, and when it popped, it just burned the crap out of this side of the roof of my mouth. This is good. This is very bitter. Even though it has that fruity aroma scent to it, it's more floral than fruity. I don't taste any fruitiness in this. Even in the aftertaste, this is a punch. This is a two-hearted ale, right, I think from Grand Rapids. This is a more bitter two-hearted ale. Not as smooth, doesn't go down as smooth, more bitter, more rough. Anyways, for the Dead Kettle, uh, Right Brain Brewery, I'll grade the variety pack after this too. Um, this is okay. This is more of a foodie beer. You're going to drink it while you're eating stuff. Again, with IPAs, guys, I keep trying. A lot of IPAs aren't that good, right? I I'm not being a jerk about it. I'm just saying they're not. <clears throat> a lot of IPAs don't hold up to that top echelon. This, to me, is going to be a 5.4. <laughs> I think a 5.4 is a good score for this. If you're really in IPAs and you're one of those hipster dudes that likes to put their nose in the foam when they smell shit, um, you're going to give this in the 7s or 8s. Personally, with a, with a stew, with a steak, with a burger, this is going to get filling very fast, but I'll still probably give it higher with that. It's going to be in the 6s. It's going to be an above average beer. Right now, it's, it's in the average to below average. 5.4. I think that's a good score. Um, anyways, boys. Uh, 
Oh, and the burps. With IPAs, those burps hit you hard. They come in and they come in packing a punch. Um, anyways, remember the three most important things in life. You've got your faith, your family, and beer. I guess this beer. The design's great. Oh, real quick before I go. Okay, so the variety pack. Right Brain Brewery Hard Case. Right Brain Brewery Hard Case. I think it was called Hard Case. Variety pack. All overall for the variety pack. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to recommend. Right? I think it's meant for certain types of people. Somebody who really is hard in IPAs. I'm not that hard in IPAs. I keep trying as many as I can to try to get good ones. And we have found some really good ones together. But... The overall variety pack, I'm giving a 4.8. I've been at Right Brain Brewery. It's one of my favorite breweries to go to when I'm in Traverse City. They have a lot of good beer to offer. These are not their best beers. Some beers are really good. These are not their best beers. They have a lot better beers to offer. So that variety case to me, when you put out a variety case, it's like your cherry. It's like the hook of a song, right? The hook of the song would, would get you hooked into the song. You know, the chorus. When you put a variety pack out, Especially when I don't see a lot of variety packs. You want to hit it strong with your best tasting beers. I don't think you guys did that right, Brain. Anyways, alright, see you guys next time. Peace.